You're listening to a fresh new podcast on healing, spiritual development, nutrition, energy work, and sometimes aliens. From the owner of the celebrity acclaimed Raw Republic Juice Bar and Wellness Center in New Orleans, Louisiana, Sheena Manina. Yes, that's her real name. This is Raw Talk with Sheena. Yay. Hello, everyone. Hello. Sheena and Amberly are here. Welcome to Raw Talk with Sheena. It's a great week. It's going down for real. It's going down. Yep. Literally. Yeah. But then it's going to come back up. Yep. Yep. The ebbs and flows of life's. Oh, yeah. Life's. Life's plural. <laughs> life's plural. <laughs> <laughs> I forgot to close that door. It's the winter solstice. <laughs> I'll get it. It's the winter solstice. It's Mercury retrograde. What else is happening? We had an in- insane full moon. A lot of stuff is going on. Santa's coming to town. <laughs> Santa and Stasi are coming and to town. And Stasi's coming to town once Santa leaves. Yay. So can't handle two two big names in the town. Uh, you said that the winter solstice was affecting you. You think it was affecting you more than Mercury in retrograde and the mo- and the f- more than the full moon. When did Mercury in retrograde start? Yesterday hmm. or the day before. Yesterday, I like killed it with work. So that in that regard, actually, I'm benefiting from the retrograde because yeah. it slows down everything. And I actually had a chance to like concentrate mm-hmm. and for the first get, time in a long time. Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. I actually benefited from it. The full moon. Yeah, I was affected by it a little bit. Um, the winter solstice today. Yeah. Weirdly. I mean, I'm not like totally 100 percent like. Um, wigging out like sometimes I do with mm-hmm. with the energy going on within the universe um, <laughs> <laughs> but um, but yeah I do so feel like so what you're energy. saying is you're normal at this point in time for if I were to ever be defined as normal you could say that I Actually, feel you I don't know <laughs> you take it back I halfway take it back because I was very frustrated trying to heal you the last three days. So, <laughs> but it's a good thing. That's sweet. Because I'm learning. <laughs> it, it has nothing to do with you and everything to do with me learning. So <laughs> thank you for being messed up enough for me to have to figure this out. You're so <laughs> welcome. You're welcome. You're not messed up. You're, I'm just I'm just confused about some things. There but some it's working things out. going on. It's working out. Though. And also, I'll I'll let out a little disclaimer that I have signed up for yes. a healing session. Mm-hmm. And Richard Bartlett's going to be working on me over Skype or whatever. Mm-hmm. Um, Richard Bartlett is the person who teaches Matrix, Matrix Energetics, which we just got back from learning. And Amberly's been a student of his for about a year and a half as well. And Giselle is a student of his. Anyway, he's working on me in about an hour so if things start if i start you know twitching and <laughs> my voice starts weird. sounding odd yeah he, i mean he i actually felt it in the bathroom uh-huh like it's it's happening yeah that's why you said multiple lives yeah too. i'm already in it i'm, I'm like, like maybe in you're the going vortex. in a past life or something <laughs> yeah <laughs> so just excuse any any oddities and also okay. part of what amberly has been working on is this i had some major stuff come up mm-hmm. after matrix that I'm working through all good things in the form of like phlegm and snot. Mm -hmm. (laughs) That's the same thing. (laughs) But it's not, it's not like what normal people experience of just like coughing in the middle of the night. It was like the end of my existence. Yeah. You were, you were dying for there. (laughs) You you were on your deathbed. A part of me died. A part of actually, honestly, I think so. Yeah. (laughs) But it's good. Yeah. It's, It's good. Okay, we'll explain part of the story. Yeah. One day we'll tell the whole story. But yeah. part of the story was that two days ago, I was kind of in this, I was just in a state of just feeling so bad, so mm-hmm. shitty. And it, it was instigated by just, you know, the heater, which is a very normal thing. Um, a lot of times people's immune system is affected by them using a heater. Mm-hmm. So I was using the heater in my house. I woke up the next morning. My throat's incredibly dry. I can't breathe. All those things. And it just perpetuates into, you know, the most intense headache, um, 
incredibly sore throat, sinuses, everything. Feeling nauseous. Which then perpetuates into yeah. nausea, like feeling like there's a hammer inside of my head. Mm-hmm. Um, so, of course, I'm at Raw Republic and I'm working all day. And Noelle is like, please let me give you acupuncture. It's what I do. It's what I do. So Noelle finally gets me on the table and puts needles all over me. And I literally wake up in the middle. I mean, not wake up because I actually was never able to relax, really. It intensified the experience, but really brought everything to the surface. And I started throwing up everywhere, vomiting. Yeah, that was fun. Like, my soul i felt like i was vomiting my soul yeah it was the most pain i've almost ever been in Mm -hmm. in my entire life yeah and it was like i was spinning out like i was yeah witnessing what was to be the end of my life yeah i was like um (laughs) we gotta do something (laughs) abort abort (laughs) take the needles out go (laughs) i was like i'm busting in this room now (laughs) like this is happening (laughs) i started to see i mean i i really had an interaction with one of my grandmothers and i'm like okay you know it's a possibility that i could be i could be removed (laughs) in this moment (laughs) your your earthly existence is done (laughs) at this moment so amberly intervenes i was like you can't leave me (laughs) <laughs> Matt on the phone. Giselle yeah. is, you know, our friend and like uh, energy healing guru, <laughs> energy healing goddess. Jeez, slash mother. <laughs> Matt is our yeah, and he's She's Matt awesome. is is Giselle's husband. And we talk about them all the time. I know y'all are like, well, when can I join the family? It's okay. <laughs> Giselle and Matt adopt everyone, so you yeah. can just be like energetically adopted by Giselle and Matt as well. Yeah, but we will always come first. <laughs> so step aside. <laughs> Hashtag firstborn. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> So Matt is an ER doctor by trade. And so he was sending me frequencies of prescription medications as though I would have gone to the emergency room, which I... am receiving all of the benefits and none of the side effects. Right. So I was mm-hmm. like actually on prescription medications and I felt them actually in my energetic body. It was crazy. Yeah, it was... I don't know if you will entirely remember or recall the experience because no. you were so altered. You really were like dead. Yeah, <laughs> I remember like yeah. moaning and yeah. like shivering. I've never seen you like this. And you can take, you are such a tough cookie. Like you can handle a lot. And I knew you were in pain when just looking at you, I was like, something's wrong. Like we have to work on this. Yeah. Yeah, that wasn't good. <laughs> that, that's not good. Yeah. 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 It, that's what we were saying to ourselves. So, yeah. <clears throat> so, anyway, I was like, hold the phone, people. <laughs> I, I got to roll up my sleeves and go back to <laughs> like using every single superpower I know of in existence yeah. to help this person. Yeah. I had, yeah. I re- so Giselle pulled out some weird witchcraft things as well i had to spit (laughs) on a paper towel put the spit on my belly button for your body chemistry to react like your body was just like rejecting certain things life yeah it was rejecting rejecting life life. (laughs) yeah basically yeah oh my god wow it was an it was an incredibly insane experience and i think that i actually remember making a contract for my life's existence that I want things like hard and fast to mm-hmm. move forward. So in that experience, it's almost like I knew that I had asked for that. Mm-hmm. You know, like if I need to shift out of things, if I need to clear things out, if I need, you know, to move past certain things, mm-hmm. I'm okay with being in that experience of near death mm-hmm. to allow those things to come forward. That's good. <laughs> not many brave souls can do that. <laughs> I'm, I'm I don't not know if I would volunteer consciously that. aware that I've done that, but right. subconsciously I'm yeah. saying like I'm pretty positive that I actually made that agreement. Yeah. Oh yeah. I mean you you agree to everything that happens to you yeah. on some level. Yeah. Yeah. Just like you agreed to be taken out of your body while you sleep mm-hmm. for experiences and and information. Yeah. Lord knows I why I accepted that or agreed to that, but. I agreed to it, I know, on a higher level, but I actually wrote it down in my journal, too, that I, like, surrendered and accepted anything that I would need to do to help heal the world. And that night, I started with them. And I was like, holy mother (laughs) effing shiz. What is happening? 
yeah, that was um, interesting. So it's not that big of a deal, yeah. really. Yeah, <laughs> it's, hey, it's no big deal. <laughs> Who's a cute little Santa elf? Diane, Misha's wife, is here. Yay! You're so cute. <laughs> we'll see you Hi. after. An hour. An hour. <laughs> this is this is raw talk, so we're not gonna we're not gonna edit that. Diane's so. awesome. <laughs> um. Okay. Wait. First of all, I kind of want to touch on when you said witchcraft type of stuff. How how do we necessarily define witchcraft stuff versus just regular stuff? Stuff. Um, you know what I mean? I think that there is a non three dimensional component to anything that's considered to be witchcraft. So, but that could be like a priest saying a blessing. Yeah. Okay. So it's just anything that's like 4d, but like I could, yeah. And I could have like said, ethereal. I could have said Giselle pulled out her magic tricks. Giselle pulled oh, out yeah, her yeah. energy tricks. Right. But like, I just chose the word like for, to me, it's all synonymous. doesn't really matter what the word is. It's all just, um, accessing a dimension of healing that's not physical. Got it. Non-physical. Wink, wink. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> to clarify. Just wanted to clarify. So I want to say thank you to everyone who has been reaching out via Twitter. Oh, gosh. Well, here we go again. <laughs> well, this is like, we're hearing what you're asking for. In, On, wait, what? We're we're hearing what our our listeners are asking for which is amazing on we Twitter? like to be interactive we like to cover topics that people are interested in and we like knowing what you're interested in and what's funny is most of the time when people email us can you talk about this can or when i get a tweet can you talk about this most of the time it is on our agenda of things to speak about so that is very true i was just making fun of you for twitter it's confirmation that we are <laughs> in alignment with you but um we appreciate the interaction and i like the interaction so i know you know to make sure that everyone's listening to what they're supposed to be listening to. Um, Twitter's cool. <laughs> okay, stop trying to make fetch happen. <laughs> <laughs> it's not going to happen. Part one, Twitter is cool. Oh, Part okay. two, mm -hmm. you have a hashtag because you don't have a handle. So if I talk about you, I say hashtag Amberly. Oh, that's so cute. So if you ever need Maybe to know I'll what I'm Twitter. saying about you, you, you got to go search your hashtag, okay? That's awesome. Okay, so we are taking a topic from Stephanie today. And Stephanie, you're so awesome because you gave like 70,000 topics that you wanted us to <laughs> talk about. That's so awesome. I love it. But a couple of the things that we're going to touch on today are... Do you know? What? Guess. No. Guess. I never know. <laughs> <laughs> okay, guess. I'll give you two guesses. Oh, let me see. Let me tap in. Let me tap in. Come on, guys. Help me out. Help a sister out. Um... If I were to guess, mm -hmm. does it have to do with the holidays? No. <laughs> I'm, I'm totally kidding. <laughs> yeah, let's talk about Elf. Hey. <laughs> candy cane. Candy, <laughs> candy corn. <laughs> and syrup. <laughs> I love um, you. I love you. Yeah. I love you. <laughs> <laughs> I love that. Oh, it's such a dumb movie, but it's fun. Um, no, just say it. I don't know. I can't tap that in. That was one guess. You have to. You have <laughs> okay. one more. Um, Think of something. I'll give you hints. Okay. Um, density. Hmm. Mm -hmm. mm, round. <laughs> mm. Curtis, <laughs> <laughs> your dog, your pig, cow, dog. <laughs> um, I don't know. Just go in relation to food. Oh, hmm. So I would know about this. Have we talked about this recently? Probably. We talk about everything. <laughs> really, yeah. there's even if we don't talk about it, we talk about it telepathically. That's for damn sure. Yeah. Um. Okay. That's why this is so hard because it's like it's like literally <laughs> it's being like, like <laughs> take your pick on a platter of the world. Yeah. <laughs> um. Okay, food, density. Bottles. Juice. No. <laughs> I feel like we're playing Mad Gab. <laughs> I don't know. You're Go. close. I mean, taboo. What comes Sorry. in a bottle that's dense in relation to food? 
in a bottle that's dense. It's so funny. This is this is like <laughs> how Amberly and I communicate because <laughs> I it's like we everything. cannot communicate with words so often. <laughs> and I'm just like, how do you not? How do you get me? And then also like literally not get me <laughs> at know, all. I know. Texting is the worst ever. I, there is a specific code. It's a Sheena <laughs> code. I swear of being able to text with you. It is incredibly interesting it's because i'm smart i know it's because you leave out you leave out details a lot i created an energetic language okay i i'll send you like three text messages no answer then (laughs) like three hours later you're like what did we talk about tonight okay um let me let me go back (laughs) to to what you mean oh you mean the podcast what did we talk about on the podcast because you right now has this happened yes this happened last week (laughs) Yeah, so I have to tap into guidance every single time I text you because I'm like, what, is she, what does she mean? Oh, okay, that's what she means. Okay, got it. Yeah, I need like a thesaurus. I need like every single aspect of help to understand your text messages. But I love you so much, <laughs> so it's worth it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's making you smarter. You know, you're learning. It's, it's making like me more creative. Yeah. yeah, that's for sure. That's yeah. Some- it's my role here. Yep. Okay. So dense comes in a bottle. Everyone else is like shaving it's... cream. <laughs> Everyone else knows what it is by now. Okay, go. Supplements. Oh, supplements. Okay. I don't associate dense with supplements. They're not okay. The the reason why I use that terminology. I know what you mean. <laughs> yeah. I know what you mean. You're catching on. <laughs> so, um this is a big topic. Mm-hmm. It's a big topic because we have very mm, we have big opinions about things relating to this topic, mm-hmm. and we also have opinions that change. Yeah. So, here's a disclaimer for everyone listening: we're talking our truth here and now. Our, our here and now changes like that. Yeah. So, if there's something that resonates with you, and we say this all the time, use it. If there's something that doesn't. Don't use it. Or if, it might resonate with you later. Exactly. So um, I have been actually wanting to talk about this topic because I see a lot in, um, especially in the juice bar at Raw Republic, I see a lot of people depending on supplements, much like prescription medications. I see a lot of people who rely on the promise of supplements for similar promises like prescription medications Mm -hmm. and it becomes almost it becomes so inefficient but also a crutch to -hmm. moving forward it's like this is this is how i view many people who are on supplementation they're relying on supplementation to cover their basis so that they justify so that they have complacency regarding those issues so that Mm -hmm. they don't have to go deeper into them to make sure that they are actually changing and taking care of them but in actuality most of the time the supplementation is not being absorbed it's not being absorbed and so therefore it's doing nothing Mm -hmm. yeah it requires a lot of synergistic properties to go along with supplementation and a supplement defined is a supplementation to what you're already doing. So it's not a replacement, it's a supplement. Mm-hmm. So, but a lot of people use supplements as a way of justifying their behaviors in life. Like, oh, I can eat uh, yes. five guys, I can eat this yes. and this, and then I'll just take a whole bunch of supplements to counteract <laughs> to the shit I just put up the yeah. toxins right. and then um, right. licorice and... Uh, slippery elm to make sure that I go to the bathroom Mm -hmm. and then I'll take my probiotics to restore my gut flora. And a lot of the time that is better than not taking the supplements, of course, Mm -hmm. but sometimes it could even be detrimental. You could get, start getting kidney stones. You can get um, gallstones, you know, different things. Mm -hmm. If your body's not absorbing those vitamins and minerals and you're just flushing and no, you're flooding your body and then your body has to flush it out. That's taxing the body so much. It's putting so much stress, digestive stress, Mm -hmm. metabolic stress, all of that to figure out, Oh, okay. Where are these 
things coming from? I know they're vitamins and minerals, but does it have a fat with it to be absorbed? Mm -hmm. Mm, No. Does it have a certain amount of water to be absorbed? Maybe not. Um, So there are a lot of things that go in conjunction with each other in order to be fully absorbed. So Mm -hmm. like eating a whole wild caught white fish, say it's like cod or sole or whatever, that has the perfect amount of fat, the perfect amount of water, the perfect amount of vitamins together in order for all those to be absorbed perfectly along with protein. And then if you have carbohydrates with that. Very good, I did it. I did it. (laughs) (laughs) It is the perfect synergy. It's like you can't get any better than what is provided to you from the earth. Yes. Right. So what you're saying is eating a piece of fish supersedes taking fish oil 100 percent, yes however there's always a caveat to these things so say someone has a fish allergy which Mm -hmm. is very common um well then i guess they wouldn't be taking fish oil so at that point they would have to find Mm this the same type of oil in like omega-3s and sixes and stuff in you know maybe it's dairy but maybe they're allergic to dairy also i don't know so it could be an algae. Yeah, something like that. So so there are also really good parts to supplements as well. So mm-hmm. some people truly need a supplementation, not mm-hmm. a replacement, a supplementation mm-hmm. in conjunction with what they're already doing. Mm-hmm. So if you have a pretty good diet and you still need that little boost for whatever reason, maybe, Mm -hmm. you know, some of your organs aren't, um, aren't functioning properly at this point in time. It doesn't mean you're going to be on that supplement Mm -hmm. forever, but say it's like three months or so just to give you kind of a boost, you know, there's always a time and a place for everything, Mm -hmm. but definitely supplements are one of those things. Yeah. So this is what I see intuitively as being the course of action for many people regarding supplementation. So it comes Mm -hmm. from a mentality that when you're looking at eating food, you're not trusting that your body can do what it's designed to do to break down food, to extract nutrients, and to eliminate waste. What you're the way that you're looking at food in this or convert food into energy the the way that many people who i'm I'm kind of tapping into right now mm-hmm. are are viewing consumption is that we're using food to either detoxify us or for pleasure and so they're it's a very imbalanced and and um polar scale that doesn't Mm -hmm. that doesn't create a balanced and wholesome viewpoint surrounding eating Mm -hmm. so in that mindset of food is either going to be detoxifying or it's going to be just for pleasure then you have this like binge and purge Mm -hmm. sort of mindset and you include supplements to replace the foods that are detoxifying if you're not eating the detoxifying f- foods. Mm-hmm. So in this viewpoint, you are creating a statement to your physical body that you cannot absorb nutrients from your food and have it be pleasurable at the same time. Mm-hmm. So you're creating a, an environment that is not supportive of a natural human existence and a human life. And I did that for a very long time. Mm-hmm. So you're not viewing food as a nourishing experience that is also plerish- pleasurable right mhm which most things that are nourishing should be pleasurable oh and yeah i believe that's the way that we were designed mhm yeah but we've been programmed by society to, to think otherwise yeah so exactly so then the supplements came in to um discount the the pl- it's, it was like a bank account you know mm-hmm. um because if you were at zero, then you are healthy. Mm-hmm. And then you just have an empty vessel that's supposed to be doing what? You know, fueled by what? I'm not sure. 
I never thought of it that way. It was just let me be empty mm-hmm. so that my past can continue to eliminate. I'm not, I'm not sure mm-hmm. like where the the viewpoint came in, but if you if people listening, if you're like kind of tapping into what that is, I'm sure that you are because I'm sure that a lot of you read a lot of the same um, nutritional publications that I used to read and and some, for some of you it may have become an obsessive thing like it did for me and um, it, ha- it had to be stopped. It mm-hmm. was it was not enjoyable. It was just, you know, okay, let me, you know, drink uh, what is considered to be on only alkaline juice and then eat only foods that continue to detoxify like greens and herbs and um, lettuces and vegetables with mm-hmm. no, you know, flavor or anything like that. And then on days when I did drink alcohol or eat wheat or eat dairy, let me make sure that I take you know, a charcoal supplementation. Let me make sure that I'm taking a gentle move supplementation to make sure that I'm eliminating all that. When in actuality, if you're just supporting your body's functions with food. That are very nourishing. That are dense and nourishing and contain a ton of nutrients and Mm -hmm. you create that energetic response around it that it's a healing experience to do that, Mm -hmm. then actually that's what it is. Right. And then your body has that chemistry already to be resilient enough. So if you do go and have a slice of pizza with beer or whatever it is, you don't need to take 15 supplements to, you know, get that out of your system later or anything like that. It's you're, you're actually going to get probably nourishment from that because you're in a right mindset. You're in a healthy mindset at that point. So even if you are doing every single little thing that you can do to, you know, detox or be the healthiest you can be or reverse aging or, you know, fix this health issue that you have, it's all about your mindset as well. So if you're coming from an energetically, um, I guess, constricted place, Mm -hmm. like if you tap into that feeling where you are trying to control everything that you're putting in your body. Your body feels constricted. Mm-hmm. Like you can just feel yes. tense and, yes. and um, it's like a severe feeling. Yes. It's very sharp. It It's, um, it's not it's comfortable. It's very reactive. Yes. Because in that mindset, mm-hmm. if I would have a glass of wine or alcohol mm-hmm. or gluten, I would react with a lot of inflammation because I was so afraid of it. Right. And I was, mm-hmm. and I was assuming that it was negative right Mm -hmm. when now if i'm drinking something or eating something that's Mm -hmm. you know not on the approved foods list right it's like the most enjoyable experience Mm -hmm. ever i have no negative reaction from it i can handle anything now right bring Mm -hmm. on the alcohol (laughs) not really i still don't drink very very much but when i do drink i'm actually able to enjoy it and not feel i remember Mm -hmm. oh my god i remember um being like so stringent with my diet and the way that I was eating. And if I would go out to eat with friends or I would go out to a bar, I remember like my ears turning red and like my Mm -hmm. face flushing. Well, you probably didn't have enough food in your body to absorb any of that poison or that toxin. Yeah. You know, so if you have a full stomach and you with nourishing foods before you drink something, chances are very, very high that you won't have a hangover. But if you say you only have like one little sushi roll the whole entire day, (laughs) and then you go out and have, you know, even two drinks, you can be hungover for like two days. It's, It's so crazy how the body works. But if all you have entering you are toxins and Mm -hmm. poisons you know and Mm -hmm. and And that's not in conjunction with the fear of it yes like it was definitely that exacerbates it an energetic Mm -hmm. i knew my response i knew what my response was going to be because i'd already Mm -hmm. created it yeah through my choices Mm -hmm. with food and through my my energetic perception of what i was doing yeah so if you had like a little bit of protein and fat in your diet before you were to ever touch alcohol for that day you would have been way better off but and having a healthier mindset mm-hmm. around it and you're not also using alcohol to like fill a void or have the social pressures or you know all of that back then too when you're in that state of mind you you kind of get into a state where even if you go out to eat with somebody you're like oh i feel pressured to order this or like what are they eating or it's 
incessant. It's constant stress. Mm -hmm. You're always thinking about it. It's always in your mind. Mm -hmm. And it's just so freeing when you start eating in a nourishing, sustaining way Mm -hmm. that all of that just disappears. The mentality surrounding food completely disappears Mm -hmm. when you're doing when you have a healthy relationship with food and you're nourishing your body from the ground up. Yeah. And it's all about also your mental state surrounding it, which is definitely affected by food. But doing other acts in your life to help support wanting to crave those nourishing foods would Mm -hmm. be acts of joy, meditation, um, you know, all the things we talk about on the podcast to help um, support, you know, your body. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Support your whole entire lifestyle. Yeah. And because eating is a lifestyle. It's not a diet. Right. No diets work. Right. The, they work until they don't. <laughs> They're very short term. Yeah. So even if you have been eating a specific diet for like 10 years, it's still, there's always going to be a point where a it stops point. working. Right. Yeah. Because you, it's all based and rooted in a restriction or um, shame, guilt, feelings of like, oh, uh, withholding things from mm-hmm. your body. Mm-hmm. It's it, like, that's not healthy. That's yeah. not a good mindset. Right. I, didn't know how many foods that I had available to me to support my energy, to support mm-hmm. the my body, to support me physically and energetically and spiritually in mm-hmm. a lot of ways. And once I started changing my diet, there are definitely times where I can look at like a pesto pasta dish mm-hmm. and have it be so nourishing like Mm -hmm. i can look at it and i can see like the vibration of the herbs and and Mm -hmm. the love and the joy that went into creating that and i'm guessing um, it's not from olive garden it's for sure not (laughs) (laughs) it's either homemade or from like this amazing um italian restaurant that is like right around the corner from my house and they home make all the pastas and Mm -hmm. they grow the herbs that they use and they work with local farmers and fishers they're so amazing Mm -hmm. Fishers. I love it. (laughs) (laughs) And fishers. Farmers and fishers. (laughs) Maybe Fishers for the win. Maybe that is. uh, Life and fishers. Life's and fishers. (laughs) Maybe in a few... A few lives ago, <laughs> you were a fisher. <laughs> I don't know. I always make fun of you. And this, half the time, you're right. You're like tapping into these like old school terms. It's like in 1843, fisher was the term. <laughs> Until, you know, 1903, they changed it to fisherman. <laughs> I'm like, damn it, Sheena. <laughs> you were right. <laughs> we're all right about everything. I know. I was it doesn't thinking matter. about this the other day, too. Like the words that we use we think about this think about the experience of joy Mm -hmm. and think about the experiences of joy that you've had throughout your life they are so different and they all feel different Mm -hmm. but we use we only have one word to describe it what joy oh yeah Oh, so, different so just I'm just joy, saying, yeah. like, how limiting are our words? Yeah. Our oh, words yeah. are very limiting. Mm-hmm. So just being cognizant of the fact mm-hmm. that, you know, someone may say something. Yeah. But you really need to be tuned in to actually understand yeah. mm-hmm. what someone is saying. Well, I love that even though words carry a certain frequency and a vibration and they hold an energy in and of themselves, which is determined by your consciousness behind what you're saying. So, so that can change if you're coming from a place of love, you can say the same exact phrase. It'll be completely different whether you say it with love or Mm -hmm. with hate. So, so there's that, but there's also in the world. I love this the Pleiadians <laughs> shout out to the Pleiadians in the world I love this in yeah. the Pleiadians <laughs> the Pleiadians um, you get to s- decipher what we mean by this entire podcast I know <laughs> I'm like I'm going there <laughs> they're like tag us in tag us in <laughs> yes we, we're we in <laughs> I'm like okay Pleiadians let's go um, so they actually told me during a session with Wendy Kennedy they said think about your best friend Do you think about her or him or do you think about their name first? And I was just silent for a second. I was like, no, I, I thought about them. You Mm -hmm. don't think about, oh, Sheena, like you don't, 
say that in your mind when they're saying, okay, picture your best <clears> friend. <throat> you wouldn't think of their name. Yeah. You, you picture their essence mm-hmm. or their energy, their energetic field. Yeah. You might not even see them physically as a being. You just like feel them, yeah. you know? And that was kind of mind blowing to me at that. When they pointed that out, they were saying, you know, words yes they matter but it's really the energy the energetic qualities yeah. behind everything um and you're right words are so limiting even though they have a time and a place it it just doesn't do it justice for what it is that you really are tapping into right energetically that's why i can't remember anyone's name because yeah, i know who they are yeah but there's you know i call people different things yeah <laughs> yeah you Just do whatever i want <laughs> yep <laughs> but um yeah. back to the food and supplement conversation yeah <laughs> i because i'm right now at this very moment i'm drinking a fire starter juice from raw republic which i would have never consumed and enjoyed with as much love and appreciation as i do now mm-hmm. because i was so afraid of sugar I was so afraid of like so many things yeah. that this represents. So the fire starter is orange juice, lemon juice, ginger, and cayenne. Well, and not all sugar is created equally. So a lot of people have demonized sugar in today's <laughs> world. <laughs> Don't get me yeah. started. <laughs> Just hold on <laughs> one second. <laughs> Let me get this out. <laughs> so <clears throat> sugar is not created equally. So I'm sorry. There. <laughs> I'm sorry. Don't even give Everyone. me the mic on this. <laughs> there is high fructose corn syrup. There corn is, sugar. Yeah. Corn syrup. There's raw cane sugar. There's, you know, stevia in the raw. There is honey. There's sugar from fruit, naturally occurring mm-hmm. sugar. It's all different. They have different molecular structures. You know, some are the same, some are similar, some are derivatives. It's all it's all different. To mm-hmm. to just say, oh, sugar it's like people cringe at that word right and it's not bad you need sugar your brain runs exclusively off of sugar or carbohydrates whoa did was it that tough for you that was <laughs> yep it was, sure was tough um for for people who are just tuning in yeah amberly normally says the <laughs> word carbohydrates like carbohydrates yeah <laughs> there you <laughs> it's just go easy for me <laughs> there you go carbohydrates <laughs> that's how i want to say it anyway you can continue saying it that way okay thank you <laughs> it's your own derogative okay prerogative <laughs> prerogative wow <laughs> De- derogatory term yeah <laughs> okay we're doing awesome today so yes to answer your first question the winter solstice is messing with us <laughs> Um, But yeah, not all sugar is created equally. So people who come into raw will ask, you know, is there sugar in this? And I'm like, okay, well, what do you mean? What are you asking? (laughs) Is there like syrup in this? Is Mm -hmm. there honey? Is there like table sugar Mm -hmm. like what are you getting at (laughs) but it's like like, confused by the question whereas everyone else is like well of course that's the question if you're walking into a health food store like is there because if it's like zero sugar Mm -hmm. and like zero fat and zero gluten yeah they're like where are the numbers i'm like okay it's it's not about logic (laughs) let's count the vitamins and minerals that this has let's not count you know in carbs fat and protein are macronutrients which Mm -hmm. means that it's just a big nutrient hence macro micronutrients are things like the vitamins and minerals so if you everyone's like well where are the grams it i'm like okay you can't you can't ex- extract the sugar from like an orange i don't understand what i'm like this does not compute people it, I have to like reverse so much brainwashing oh. from society <laughs> and like these health magazines, quote unquote, it's not a health magazine. And they're just perpetuating all this crap that they're mm-hmm. learning. Another quote unquote. Mm-hmm. They're just repeating things. Yeah. They're not thinking for themselves. They're trying to simplify all of the information into something Logic that can't numbers. be simplified. Right. They're like, count this, count that. I'm like, oh my gosh. Everyone relax. Stop counting. Like yeah. start just filling your body with nutrients and just vitamins, minerals, the things that are naturally occurring in the earth's energy because you are part of the earth. Like mm-hmm. your body 
connects and resonates energetically on so many levels mm -hmm. with everything that's grown from the earth. And what's the number one reason why why you think people are interested in grams of things? Mm. They <laughs> be on yeah. planet Earth, Amberly. What's the, <laughs> what's the number one reason why people are looking at grams of things? Control. <laughs> you, you can't be easy. <laughs> I know. I'm like that's a loaded question. Okay, the answer yeah, yeah. that I was looking for I was weight loss. Yeah, I know you were getting to that. <laughs> I know. Okay, but it's so, control. Well, ex it is control, um, but it's also weight loss for, yeah. for many people. And well, they equate l loss of weight to health, and that is not the way to loss go. Loss of weight to health, and also <laughs> zero grams to weight loss. Right. So, Which, uh, how has that been working for us? Uh, it's not. That's exactly yeah. what I was just going to say. Right. If we look back to the 50s and the 60s where yeah. no one was overweight, like yeah. no one was obese, mm -hmm. we didn't count anything back then. Right. But everyone had the food industry. Hey, my my neck's going to be on the line for this. Okay. But <laughs> <It's> they. Okay. <laughs> Hashtag okay. protecting. protecting. <laughs> I couldn't even say it. You can't even say We're it fucked. because, because I, <laughs> I'm going to show up. <laughs> dead <laughs> you, you better die you better protect me yeah i'll come back <laughs> um but okay i'm just gonna say it so the food industry labels everything as you know no sugar or they keep pulling out the nutrients mm -hmm. and s sticking in chemicals that and, you know, you can say everything's chemicals, the the poisons in the dose, whatever. I'm tired of that. So <laughs> it's not. It's still how okay. it's not food. If it's in a package, it's not food. Exactly. And how many packaged foods do you eat within a given day? OK, well, now it's a poison. So if you start looking at the ratios of everything in your life, like take inventory. How how many vending machines food? Mm, <laughs> wow. <laughs> well, OK. <laughs> vending machine foods do you intake mm -hmm. within a work day yeah. or a work week, you know, different things like that. If you start looking at all these things and all of these labels that are like zero sugar, um, zero fat, you know, all this kind of stuff like low carb, high protein, whatever, all Everything. these labels. Even even like new age terminology. Well, none of it has Vegan, nutrients in it. Gluten free, all the dairy free, sugar free. Yeah, it's like uh, nutrient free. Yeah, yeah. That's, <laughs> Congratulations, you yeah. have no nutrients. Air. <laughs> yeah, and no, it really is. It's like how can we adulterate and just ruin naturally occurring food to make money? To also, I'm gonna also say it, make people dependent. sick, uh -huh. make on. them dependent, make them not think for themselves, mm -hmm. not question the system, mm -hmm. not buck the system, and. We're going to. It feeds into our other financial ooh. program called healthcare. Yeah, and um, health insurance, and you know all the pharmaceutical drugs dependence, and dependence, dependence, dependence. dependence, dependence. dependence. Yes, it's like <laughs> should we write oh, a song? Yeah, dependence <laughs> is more than saying sorry. You know? <laughs> Do you know that song? <laughs> no. Okay, but, but what is it, coming to mind is, is, is our friend. Forgiveness. John. Oh my gosh, yes, you're right, you're right. <laughs> At this moment, I would like everyone to take a break and to go to YouTube. The name of the song that I'd like for you to oh look up gosh. is called Just Say No, <laughs> okay. No GMOs. <laughs> we went there. We did. This is our friend John, who I met at Whole Foods one day, who in injected himself into my conversation and my life, and um, who now gets his guitar nail fixed at um, the nail salon right next to Raw Republic, just so we can run into each other. I can't believe we're saying this. <laughs> I cannot believe we're saying this. It's a great song. Check it out. It, it, just say no, fun. no GMOs. <laughs> I, I love supporting his cause, though. <laughs> yeah, he's I'll awesome. bring him on. But, um, okay, so to not get fired up, I'll, I'll calm down now. So <laughs> Take a deep breath yeah. in through your nose. Ooh. Out, exhale through your mouth. <laughs> Very good. This good is job. why I do what I do today. <laughs> so, um, so, yeah, if you look at anything that has to be labeled or has to convince you that it's healthy, chances are high that it's not healthy. Mm -hmm. So there's that. Um, but, yeah, they try to take out every single nutrient and make this such a um they like 
imprison you within your own head mm-hmm. when it comes to food and questioning everything and counting this and counting that or like oh I can't have a banana and an orange today because I'm saving up for my bottle of wine tonight it's like okay look at the the nutrients like hashtag weight watchers right orange soda with flame retardant in it is not the same as a banana people it's, are going to be really upset about this because yeah. the the immediate reaction is but weight watchers worked for me and weight watchers worked for my mom and Jenny Craig worked for my mom right. and me <laughs> so they <laughs> thanks respond. for that. <laughs> yes that it everything it worked until it works. didn't remember remember right. when your mom gained all the weight back and then she like went on a fat-free diet tried that and then she it's yo-yo dining yeah yeah it's because it, it's, it's a game it is a game it's taught to keep you in that system of giving up your power to everyone else around you everyone telling you what to do and you not thinking for yourself or, or not tapping into what you know. Some people are like, oh gosh, I really just want an avocado today. I'm just like really craving an, av- an avocado, but it's too much fat. I'm like, okay, so what are you gonna eat? I'm gonna eat a lean cuisine. I'm like, okay, no. <laughs> like, <laughs> we need to, <laughs> to reverse. <laughs> reverse <Yep>. this <laughs> little program. Um, yeah. So how many nutrients are in a lean cuisine versus how many nutrients are in an avocado? Why can't so. you respond when people ask you questions like this, like with a little bit more um, <clears throat> love? I want you to be a little bit more aggressive. <laughs> Me? Yeah. Because I'm like, you're holding it in too much. You need to release. I know. Now I'm exploding <laughs> on this podcast. <laughs> I know. Well, it's also, I don't want it to come across as like, you're stupid. It's not. It's not that. It, it's nobody's fault. No, you're right. No one's fault. You're right. And I get annoyed and frustrated with the whole system, the whole programming, the mind control, all of that mm-hmm. behind the scenes of, of what's going on. And that is driving all these people to giving up their power freely and mm-hmm. openly because they feel like they're so confused at this point because well this diet says this and that diet says the opposite mm-hmm. and this diet and all of them are right and all of them work at any given moment given the time the place the circumstance the person the body chemistry etc mm-hmm. so so yes there is validation in every single diet out there but if you put all the diets together you would be eating nothing mm-hmm. absolutely nothing mm-hmm. so you ha- it, it a lot of people are like well they can't all be right but they are right for different people at different times. So how did humanity get here? How did we get to survive up until the year 2016 (laughs) or up until before the food industry or in the industrialization of food products? How did we eat? We, We even did eat real pies and real cakes made with real Flour. Flour is not made how it used to be made mm-hmm. with real nutrients in it. All the nutrients are sucked out of it. Oh. She's on a box. I need to get off. Down. <laughs> I, need a, I need to drop the mic. <laughs> take a step down. Take a deep breath. We have we have infinite numbers of podcasts to okay. cover these topics in the future. So um, today, some takeaways are <laughs> not all supplements are bad. Not all processed foods are bad. Not all foods are it's bad. Not all sugars are bad. It's very Everything true. in... Mm-hmm. Um, in accordance with what is needed at a particular mm-hmm. time and knowing right. that that changes indefinitely and just mm-hmm. tapping into what you need and tuning into what you need is the most important thing and having a practitioner that supports that change who a practitioner that's not indoctrinated in w- their skill or what they've learned or their knowledge base wherever that comes from that they're in this constant state of inquiry to discover um, the different ways that different things can be incorporated in different people and how those same people can also incorporate different things that transition their health and transition their life. Um, Some supplements are good and necessary, like Amberly was saying. There are are some things to look for. Yeah. If like, you know, and and don't just take a supplement because your friend is taking a supplement, okay? (laughs) Um, (laughs) It's not as fun as like, you know, Taking a drug that yeah. your friend's taking. It's not know? that fun. Like, there have been very, very, I have invested, I would say, tens, if not hundreds of thousands of dollars in supplements over the course of my health journey, life journey, whatever the fuck you want to call it. And 
very, very, and these were these are all high quality supplements. Very, 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 very few actually did anything. Very few actually changed my chemical composition to where I could actually feel that something was changing or shifting or healing or, or being assisted. So with that in mind, be very, you know, I, I sell supplements at the store, some, I very, you know, a very limited amount. I sell Bulletproof at the store at Raw Republic. I, um, Amberly suggests to many people lipospheric vitamin C, mm -hmm. uh, liver pills, and a couple of other things. There, you know, the supplements that I have from Bulletproof are charcoal, which are great on occasion, are mm -hmm. um, brain octane oil, which is a coconut oil. Um, you know, what I would do is I would tune into okay do I need assistance with anything in particular is there something that's that I can tell is not functioning optimally mm -hmm. where I could see a, a health coach or a healthcare practitioner who could maybe help me look at you know am I eating a wide variety of foods mm -hmm. am I encouraging um a, a positive lifestyle in other aspects of my life mm -hmm. and and just help someone kind of have someone help you take inventory of those things. And if there's still, you know, I'm on liver pills to support my, Amberly has me on liver pills right now, progesterone and vitamin E. Mm -hmm. um, I put magnesium oil in my progesterone feet. Progesterone from yams, not an animal. But yeah. <laughs> so the, Sweet potato, everything yams. is different yeah. for right. everyone. Right. So like liver pills, it's, it's literally dehydrated liver yeah. from organic grass-fed cows yeah dehydrated and chopped up into a gelatin protein capsule and that's it there's no magnesium stearate in it or um any kind of you know preservatives or anything like that so these are whole food supplements it's right. not like a conglomeration of like a b pantheonine and whatever you know like glutamine and Biomanine, whatever, you know, all those things that you can't mm -hmm. even pronounce that are, you know, thrown in there. It's like, oh, yeah, this is what it's for. But also, like, take all this crap in it, too. So I will never suggest something like that to yeah. somebody. So, like, going to Walmart or Target is not the same as going through, um, like, something like standard process, which is, like, whole foods supplements, which you need an actual practitioner to um, to order that. Yeah. So those things, not all supplements are created equally as well. So be very mindful of what you're putting into your body. Look at the other ingredients, like the ingredients list, but also other ingredients and really ask yourself, am I really absorbing this? You can also muscle test it and hold it to your heart and have a friend or a loved one watch if you lean forward towards it, it means it would be good for you. If you just remain in the middle, it means it might not benefit you, but it wouldn't harm you. But if you lean backwards, it's not good for you. You're not going to even absorb it. Mm -hmm. So that's a little test as well. Yeah. Um, Do a mock test first. This mm -hmm. works really well with like a Tootsie Pop. Most people will immediately, or like bubble gum, yeah. most people will immediately like rock backwards. Mm -hmm. So you can test it with something that you know doesn't work well with your body or something that's like kind of seemingly toxic. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, <clears throat> But yeah, that's a that's yeah. a really good idea. Yeah. So um so it really We're depends. just trying to save you guys money. <laughs> Bottom line. And stress. <laughs> like don't spend all of your money on supplements that aren't doing anything for you. If you need a couple of high quality supplements because you something is out of alignment, you're working with a healthcare practitioner, this organ needs support, whatever, go for it. Chinese herbs from your acupuncturist, cool. Like know that nothing is permanent. For mm -hmm. the most part, unless you've had a surgery to remove an organ and need consistent support or something like that. Mm -hmm. um, so continue checking in with that supplement. Don't mm -hmm. just say like, well, my healthcare provider told me five to seven years ago that I needed this supplement. So I've been taking it ever since. Like check right. in every once in a while. Right. Your blood chemistry could be yeah, completely different by now. It could be different tomorrow. Right. So um, everything you have to take in context and at any given moment and you're right. Everything, it could be an oil, it could be an herb, it could be a supplement, it could be a, an actual pharmaceutical medication. It just depends mm -hmm. on on what your body chemistry is calling for at that moment. So take inventory, tap in, love yourself, 
connect with yourself and know that you are your own best healer. Save all of your money from all the supplements that you've been buying unnecessarily and have a health consultation with Amberly. Yeah. That's what I suggest. Yeah. Yeah. And then you'll save so much money in the future because you won't need to spend money on going to doctors or getting on pharmaceutical medications or all the things that you do to rebalance your health. Mm -hmm. You'll be really empowered to heal yourself. That's very true. Or another good way, if you don't want a one-on-one consult and you want to just kind of dabble in it, I am doing a Back to Basics course as well. Um, And it's going to be a downloadable PDF that's emailed to your email address the first or second week of January. And um, hashtag awesome timing. Yes. So part one is all has to do with food and um, changing your relationship with food, your view of food, your perspective, really getting you to understand what food is meant for and what it's all about. And, you know, optimal foods, non optimal foods, and then other foods that you can kind of take or leave. Um, And again, just prefacing it, All of it is educational and informational. It's not a diet plan. It's not going to be something like a one size fits all type of thing. That's not how I operate. So I really try to give you the power back into your own hands and make you question things and learn what is actually going on in the body. So there's that. And then parts one and two. Um, Two includes lifestyle practices, meditations, behaviors, all of these things to transform your food and get the most out of your eating, as well as um, using energy work to kind of change the nutrient content of your food um, when you're out at restaurants and different things like that. So there are a lot of cool tips that I give on part two. And um, so I am selling that through... January. So you'll be receiving that. And then with part two, you also get a discounted one-on-one consultation with me or an energy session with me. How can people order the course? Yeah. So they can order it through my Instagram. You can email me at connectionholistichealth at gmail.com. K-I-N-E-C-T-I-O-N holistichealth at gmail.com. My Instagram account is Dr. Amberly Carter, um, Dr. period. Amberly Carter. And then um, my website as well. You can just go straight to my website, connectionholistichealth.com. And it's um, under the course Back to Basics. You can just click on that. That's awesome. Yeah. Everyone needs that. Yeah. And I got a preview of it. It's beautiful. Thank you. I've been designing it. Self-healing, self-learning, information. It's awesome. Yeah. I wanted to make it very aesthetically pleasing. With the design, so I'm trying. You like aesthetics. Aesthetics. It makes you feel healthy. I'm, and I'm also embedding frequencies, healing frequencies in the course yeah, to heal. So through the words that I'm typing, I'm actually putting in the frequencies to help shift you and support you in your shifts with health. So there's also that little magic trick. Bonus. <laughs> <laughs> You're so awesome. That is going to be amazing. Thanks. Um, yeah, this is a really awesome topic. <laughs> I just was like... Yeah, I wasn't expecting that. <laughs> I asked for any immediate last guidance and coconut oil, mm. something. Yeah. It's like... Go food, for it. I don't know. Gods. Go for it. <laughs> coconut oil can be... <laughs> I'm like, oh, let me lift up my glasses. <laughs> um, <laughs> coconut oil is actually one of the only fats that doesn't need to be emulsified or broken down through the gallbladder. So anybody who has like gallbladder troubles or anything like that, their diet should consist mostly of coconut oil because you don't need the enzymes to break it down. Um, and it burns immediately as fuel rather than storing as fat on your body. So that's really cool. And it also helps support blood sugar regulation. So anybody who has like high blood sugar or anything like that, It's good for that. It's good for turning gray hair back to its normal color. Um, It's good for hair, skin, and nails. You rub it on your body, take it by the mouthful, put it in your coffee, tea, anything like that. It's so awesome. It's just the best ever. That's awesome. Yeah. Yay. Nice. Guidance, anything else? Nope. They said they're good. (laughs) They're good. They just got to work on protecting my head now. (laughs) We're all working on that together. Yep. (laughs) We're all in it together. Yep. Okay. So my face, I can feel matrix energetics beginning to work on me and I'm like really losing consciousness. Yeah. You got to (laughs) go. 
<laughs> yep. My face, like, oftentimes when when people do matrix energetics on me, it literally feels like I have Bell's palsy. I know. Like my, it's half so of my funny. face starts like dripping off of my my bones. Yeah, it's it's really attractive. <laughs> yeah, it's it's really weird. weird. I don't know why yeah. it happens that way, but it's not uncomfortable. It's just that's right. what it is. It's but, just your cue. Um, a couple of announcements. Mm-hmm. One. Hopefully the next time you hear a podcast, I won't sound like I am nasally. I'm sure it's annoying. You don't sound bad at all. We're working through it. We're working on <laughs> We're it. We're working on it. <laughs> what I've been doing, what I love, this is my supplement right now, is a tea with just hot water, lemon, coconut oil, a little bit of sea salt, and honey. Yeah, it's perfect. It's been amazing for me. Mm-hmm. Um, so if anyone wants to take that little tool and bring it with them throughout the remaining uh, time of the winter. Okay, so... The next podcast you hear, we're not, we may be recording another podcast this week at the studio, but we are definitely recording a podcast next week with Stassi. Yay. I can't wait for her to come in town. It's going to be live, so recorded live at Raw Republic, which is our first live podcast, which is really cool. We're going to have a lot of fun. We mm-hmm. are selling a juice cocktail. <laughs> in of commemoration course. yeah so basic it, witch cocktail we literally have maybe four or five tickets left we are going to be packing in that room tight yep. so if you are interested in coming i have the inst i have the link on my instagram profile to purchase tickets and i think you do too right am or yeah. do you have yours yeah. okay yeah so purchase your tickets asap um Amberly talked to you guys about her nutrition course. If you have any imp- questions on that, you can email her. We are so freaking excited about the Basic Witch Super Course. I'm going to give a little oh, yeah. celebrity announcement at the moment. Pretty yeah. Lights may be coming. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. Pretty Lights was in the store. It was in Raw Republic yesterday. And um, this six foot nine gentleman was was he's so vibrationally tuned in and connected that he immediately was like i want to go to the basic witch super course so help us manifest that one two people who are vibrationally aligned can see when energy is emitting from a course or a subject or food or products he was buying all of the living libations products Mm -hmm. he was there for acupuncture he was buying juices he's just a very tuned in individual Mm -hmm. so if it's pretty lights approved Yep. Basic which is let's get on it. Yep. We have a few spots left. It's going to be an amazing course um, taking place in New Orleans. We have it scheduled for January 20th through 22nd. It's an amazing Christmas gift to yourself. And it's $151 off until January 1st, I believe. So... With the code HOLIDAY. Use the code HOLIDAY. Mm -hmm. Um, If you are interested in the link to sign up, you can email the space at Raw Republic Juice. And we hope to see you there. It's a course that we are putting in a lot of energy to really bring some stuff to the surface for you so that we can help you move it out to make Mm -hmm. 2017 one full of manifestation and love and happiness and creation and imagination and a lot of, of life. So if you need a little boost to kind of get you out of the routine of what you've been living in, the patterns, the belief systems and things like that, come on, you guys. We really hope to see y'all there. It's going to be off the chain. Fire. All right. Love you guys. Love you.